Uh, thank you everyone and hello once again. So today I'm presenting you my capstone project. It's named, as it was already said, Long Fired UAV with solar panels. I am Agapi Mikhailian, supervisor Eric Kasabian and advisor Arman Asatyan. So let's start. Uh, here is the outline of our what we will have today for the presentation. We will talk first of all about our goal and motivation, why we decided to choose this project, Other, uh, after, after it will be about the description of the project, the system scope, uh, how the 3D modeling part was made, afterwards the manufacturing, material choice, why we decided to use exactly that kind of materials. Afterwards we'll go more into electronics, such as uh, the radio control system, how it was designed and made, uh, and the schematics of the, how the UAV is working itself. And uh, the last but not least, the timeline, when and what was done. So to start with the goal and motivation, um, first of all, it was of course designing a UAV that will fly uh, with longer endurance, let's say, and it will be also lightweighted. And uh, this is, was uh, technically made for a tourist attraction, for example, for historic sites that people will have also the opportunity to have the uh, bird eye view uh, with our VR and camera gimbal installed in the UAV. And this will be another way to explo explore virtual reality. So the project description uh, is creating a long endurance fixed wing uh, UAV will that will also have solar panels on its wing, wing uh, surfaces. So what was in the system of the scope? Uh, of course, to start with, it was a 3D modeling part, uh, computer-aided design, let's say, using Floydworks uh, software. Uh, also, we, will we decided to... It's working. <laughs> uh, also... Uh, also, uh, it was of course manufacturing, making the molds. Uh, making the molds will give us the opportunity to, uh, add, to uh, of course, have as many prototypes as we want. So this, this is why we decided to also make the molds once and use it <laughs> every t each time. Building the actual aircraft itself was also in the scope. Uh, and of course, integrating everything, the electronics, the actuators, uh, the motor, and etc. We'll talk about the components uh, in more details. So this is the 3D model and how it looks like. As you can see, we have the tail, the fuselage and the wings here and also the solar panels on it. Uh, everything was done, as it was said already, in Solid, uh, SolidWorks CAD uh, software environment. And this will be used for manufacturing purposes. Uh, about the manufacturing and material choice, first of all, it was said to choose uh, weight, uh, lightweight materials, so the flight will be as long as possible. Uh, and of course, we decided to make it more easy to manufacture and separate it in three different, uh, let's say, parts. It was the fuselage, tail, and wings. Uh, and of course, making the molds was also uh, to have it repeatable process of manufacturing also was a need. Now, uh, let's start with the fuselage uh, mold making process. As you can see in the, these two pictures, we have uh, the already 3D printing model, uh, which was uh, assembled from 10 different parts. We may use, uh, again, uh, CAD manufacturing uh, to have it in different parts. And afterwards, it was assembled all together. It was also two-sided. As you can see here, we have the ready-made uh, <laughs> fuselage itself. And afterwards, it was painted in acrylic pla uh, paint. Uh, and this is the diagram, composite diagram of what we have. As you can see, SORIC is that special material used uh, in this kind of airplanes to make it as light as possible. And it was sandwiched between uh, a single layer of fiberglass from each side and everything was uh, afterwards glued uh, together with epoxy, which, wa uh, uh, which is also, as you can see, the in, in every uh, separate layer. Uh, uh, and this was also yeah, sandwiched together. Uh, now about the wing mold uh, making process, this time it was made, uh, the molds were made itself from uh, MDF wood and we used CNC machine uh, for making them. Afterwards we also have the ribs and the spare here, which were made also uh, from sandwi sandwiched <laughs> together with panels and glued into the structure. This gives more structure to the UAV itself and the wing structure. And this is the composite diagram we have. This time uh, we used a straw <laughs> stereo foam instead of storic material and it is the same technique. Again, uh, they are sandwiched together, uh, uh, fiberglass and uh, glued together with the help of epoxy. And everything was made also in vacuum. I will also show the picture. Everything was glued together and vacuumed. 
uh, we have that as well. And here we also have the Langeron. It is also three millimeter stereo foam glued together uh, with uh, one single layer of fiberglass. <coughs> now uh, the um, tail mold making. Uh, this is, as you can see, the vacuum I was telling about. Uh, it was also the molds were made of MDF wood. Uh, with CNC machine and afterwards we use that technique under the pressure of uh, pressure under minus 0 0.9 and it was left like this in this vacuum <laughs> uh, position for 24 hours however in the bigger factories of course uh, people use ovens and they heat it up for 60 degrees per Celsius then it this make this 24 hours this becomes only eight hours so this is <laughs> another way to economize time uh, rather than having it you can have the same thing overnight rather than having it for days. But however, we didn't have that opportunity, of course. And this is the composite diagram uh, of our tail. And this time we used uh, carbon fiber uh, and it is only that material. And it is again vacuumed and used epoxy uh, to glue together everything. This is the final look we have. Uh, the fuselage, wings and the tail itself and we have here these car uh, carbon fiber uh, tubes as well. Mm -hmm. This will have, this gives more structure and uh, hardness to the, uh, to the tail. So just in case in emergencies, it will be better to have them in carbon as well. Uh, now let's talk how the airplane is going to work. We have our uh, mission planner, uh, which is open source, as it, you can see. It gives uh, the path that we want the UAV to follow. Uh, this is how with remote control, which is also uh, used as ground station this time. Uh, it can be a box. We just have it as a radio controller, just in case autopilot will not work or emergency cases. We can have it manually. We can control it manually. Uh, this is the antenna we have here. This gives the path and uh, all the needed information to the airplane is going to fly in that direction. And uh, we have the gimbal camera here, which will give us the video and we'll have uh, that video uh, via <coughs> our VR glasses. And also this will give the data about the flight, such as the height, speed, uh, and whether the live location of the airplane. Uh, this is the mission planner I was I mentioned before. As you can see, this is the, for example, our path that we need uh, our airplane to fly. Uh, we can drop any dro uh, geomet uh, geographical location and it will follow. Just in case of emergencies, also we have it integrated. Uh, when it doesn't know where to fly or it's an emergency situation, something happened, the airplane itself will come back to the point where it was launched. So. Technically where we are, just in case, we have that as well. It's a part of our flight controller. And we have the real-time location, <laughs> speed, and orientation of the airplane, always. This is the schematics uh, of our flight control system of UAV. As you can see, the flight controller, the, the block diagram itself, it, everything is designed uh, over the uh, connecting everything uh, into the, our flight controller. As you can see, we have the solar controller, the, its battery connecting to it. We have our motor. It's uh, also the controller of the motor. Again, here, the camera, where we'll see the picture and the VR. The picture goes inside it, gives us the data, and comes to us. We'll see it live. Uh, we have the antenna here, a crossfire, which gives the location and also the path that it needs to follow to the airplane, the GPS and compass to know where exactly our plan is live. Uh, and here are also the pitot tube and the air uh, speed sensor. Uh, this is this pitot and this on the air goes inside that tube. Uh, and it also uh, shows uh, the, the speed of the airplane itself, uh, li life. And here we have our servos, the servos of the camera. We have it 2D gimbal. It's left, right, up and down. And also with the head, with the movement of our head, the gimbal is also moving. I will show the demonstration that we can do it here as well. So here are the components. Just I'll go over them: the air speed sensor, the solar panel controller, the solar panel flight controller, video antenna with its transmitter. Uh, here are also the motor, uh, the controller of our motor, the GPS and compass integrated, that famous pitot tube, and the battery. Uh, let's go over the timeline as well. So the idea of making <laughs> such thing was long before I started my capstone. However, the idea and the research were made, it started in September. Afterwards, we had the 3D modeling part. Afterwards, the finalizing the paper, making it ready for the committee. And uh, the next <laughs> year, uh, we decided to start, of course, making the molds. It took pretty long time since the process is not an easy one. Afterwards, it was the vacuuming part. Uh, 
again, assembling part, having all them together, uh, connecting the mechanical, uh, let's say, components. Afterwards, we have our electronics, software testing, and actually implementing everything. And now, let's see our demonstration. As you can see, it is going, the steering wheel, uh, and also the pushing type of uh, propeller. We can do the same here as well. Yeah, it is pretty flexible. <coughs> and yeah, now we'll also see uh, what the user will see and how that looks like from the other side. <coughs> so with the movement of head, the gimbal, it will be also zoomed in, is also moving for better view, let's say. Just imagine how fun it will be, just <laughs> see whatever the bird can see or the airplane sees itself. And also, <coughs> yeah, a part of launching it, uh, this is the yeah, user view, absolutely. it's just not very good. We can do it here as well. And this was the prototype, how this flying is. Ha, <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Thank you for the presentation, Agati. Thank you. The panel is great. Uh, <coughs> yes, um, how much does it weigh? Uh, three kilograms. Three? Three kilograms. Three. With everything, yeah. Oh. <laughs> How much Trickular. does it weigh this time? <laughs> <Trickular>. <laughs> 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 it's not going to be changed. <laughs> um, the solar panels, how much How much time do they add? Or uh, is it like 24 hours you can fly it? Uh, no, unfortunately, no, we wish. However, we had a problem with solar panels. As you can see, there are stickers. Because we ordered it from China, they came a farm of Kaizhamanek. Like uh. during the making the mold, the epoxy destroyed part of it. And the part where actually when they came, <laughs> they, they were broken itself. So yeah, just because the model was itself with solar panels, and it was for me, it was better look, we decided to have them here as well. But this is another future work for us to add to our timeline and to develop it even more. Now we know farm of solar panel Okay. <laughs> Second question. Uh, lightweight structures, usually you get vibration and flutter sooner than other types of uh, structures. Mm -hmm. Since the main goal of this was perhaps to actually yeah. watch the thing fly and for the camera to work, have you thought about that at all in uh, terms of how the camera would operate under those conditions depending on the speed of the as it was already said three kilograms it will not have that much turbulence itself and also the gimbal is fixed itself so the airplane is going to be moved and we don't have the uh, big differences in height for example like having such landings or uh, taking uh, taking offs so this is why we'll have it balanced more or less because we're going to be the one having uh, giving the air, our autopilot the path let's say and this is where we'll also connect them in the way so it will be a pleasant for a viewer's side, not to have such, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, big uh, turbulences uh, seen. Um, I will try not to ask too many questions, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> not more than 200. Um, <laughs> so did you actually work with the solar panels? Uh, yes. Which the, the, the panels that are designed right now? No, the, these ones? Yeah. This is like yeah, 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 I know, the ones that look like that. Uh, um, yes. From some, from yeah, some we power. We ordered them. We ordered from China. They came pretty late, and we decided during making the molds and epoxy and sort of branded snail head though since Chukvela Mianka. We guess snail arten and sort it was not. Yeah, arten chat sat zelik elle. Is kinch panel nere solar sun power? Ha, sun power flexible panel nere. Is kidans hastre lek okta gortek. Cha, use chengarel for the mold image trelen. Urban Howard had hard to do so. So I was like, "Yeah, Maldi, when the last time I saw Chengkuna, I was transparent. I was like, "Yeah, I was like, I was like, I I was like, 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 I 
versus ձեր ծախսվող խոսանքի։ Հա, ավել մոտավոր հաշվարկ է եղելա, դա մենք լիմիտ ենք ունեցել, թե վերի վիրա ինչ կան կարենք դնենք, ոնցոր տասնովեց հատետ են ոպցիմալ թիվն է եղել, որ հանգիս տեղավորվել, որ տե որ չխանգարել � Բայց դե այդի շատ լա վյուչր որկա, որ տա վերկո ամիս պետքա չինաստանից կանդ է։ Այր վոյլը տեսել եք ինչ էր վոյլը, էր վոյլը ոնց եք որոշ էլ ինչ էր վոյլ լինի։ Պրովայլ է նտատիում եք, պրովայլ ուղակի ռիսերչի արդյունքում արդեն existing, որ տեղ արդեն log endurance ունեցող lightweight-իտ այսպես ասաց եկզեմպլները որ կան, Պանավորում եք շարնակեք ես ուղությունը։ Եթե պանավորում եք շարնակեք հետո ովլայն խոսանք է թեմայով։ Ես ուղակի կարջ ասեմ, որ մի քանի տարի առաջ իմ հիմնած լաբարատորիայի և պատրաստված ինքնաթիրը տաստմեք ու � Մեծ էս սա ամենա անևեկտիվ մանա պրոպել էրնա իրականում էլի առատենց էր տեղ ուղթրնելու։ Բայց, ոկե, գուտ, ոկե, մերսի շատ։ Սեզ ամշտանակա։ Կարանք, մենք ինչ լոգ չէ։ Բայց բանը թրել, հա, հենց բան, կարանք հենց իմ այդ գնանք փորձարգ է, իմ սմնթերիշինը ուրս են կարը, թենք։